research was done by six group members and we were guided by Mr. Lakman Rupa Singh, a lecturer in charge, to accomplish this task, this task success. This video tutorial was uploaded in order to provide a basic knowledge about natural language processing. Throughout the research, we discussed NLP under the following subheadings. Introduction to Natural Language Processing, Evaluation, Major Tasks, Advantages, Limitations and Statistical NLP. First of all, we will discuss about introduction. A fundamental idea about NLP can be gained from this section. Natural language processing is mainly considered about the interactions between computer and human languages. And NLP is used because natural languages such as Spanish, English are more user friendlier than computer languages like C++, Java and LISP. Next, we will be moving to evaluation section which focuses mainly on objectives, history and different types of evaluation. Under objective section, we discover several goals of NLP. The main goal is to determine the behavior of an algorithm or a system and sub-goals will be answering the goals of designers, ambiguousness of task are defined as language understanding or generation and precise set of evaluation areas. To achieve these goals, the NLP was evaluated several times by several countries. The first evaluation was done in 1987 and it was about message understanding. Another evaluation was done within the tipster project and some of the tasks such as summarization, translation and searching were realized. In 1994, of this evaluation, Germany was done another evaluation. The objective of this evaluation was that to identify comparisons between Morpholympic and German tuggers. To gain this objective, the sensor and common several evaluation was conducted. In 1996, another evaluation was held to compare syntactic parsers in four different languages such as English, French, German and Italian. After a year, in 1997, the France also did an evaluation named Grace Project and compared set of 21 tuggers. The Techno Language OEC project was done in 2004 and paid the attention to compare 13 parsers for French through that. One of the large scale evaluation was done in 2006 and 2007. At the end of year 2007, ANR Passage project was continued in order to compare Passage website with 10 parsers for French. Now, we are finished of evaluation of on the objectives and history of evaluation of NLP. I think it's time to move on to the next part, its types, different types of evaluation. In here we draw your attention mainly for three sections. Mainly in intrinsic was extrinsic evaluation, black box was glass box evaluation and automatic was manual evaluation. Let's start discussing intrinsic was extrinsic evaluation. In intrinsic evaluation, it pays our attention to the isolated NLP system and characteristics of it. The performance of this is done with respect to a gold standard result. In extrinsic evaluation, it considers the NLP system in a more complex setting, either as an embedded system or serving, serving for human user. Now, let's go forward to the next type of evaluation. It's black box or glass box. In black box, it requires one to run an NLP system on a given data set. Through those, they measure number of parameters related to the quality of the process. Design of the system is looked in the glass box evaluation. It means that the implemented algorithms, linguistic resources are used. Another type of evaluation is automatic with manual evaluation. Between automatic and manual evaluation, most probably automatic procedures are defined. Through that, the NLP system is evaluated and output will be in gold standard. Although the automatic evaluation acts as this, the manual evaluation is done by human judges, which are in instructed to estimate the quality of a system based on a number of criteria. One of the major topics under the NLP is going to discuss now. It's major tasks of NLP. 
some of the major task are automatic summarization, foreign language reading net, foreign language writing net, information extraction and other tasks that you can see in the screen. Now let's move on to the advantages of the NLP. Some of the advantages are we can use NLP as a way of supporting search makes more sense in any document intensive environment and also summarize documents so we can get a precise of each document. In every system there are limitations. In NLP also that has limitations such as a complete problem and the definition of understanding. The definition of understanding is one of the major problem in NLP. The solution for the limitations are listed under the statistical NLP. Statistical NLP comprises all quantitative approaches to automated language processing including probab probabilistic modeling, information theory and linear algebra. The technology for statistical NLP comes mainly from machine learning and data mining. Now we come to the end of this video tutorial. In here we want to give you a basic knowledge of NLP rather than the complex knowledge of it. Further information about NLP is given through our next video tutorial. Thank you.